Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. I think this is, I'm losing track of the games. Game four between Dreamer and Master Ray. This is the Hasu League Finals of BSL Season 11. In case you haven't already checked it out, BSL Season 12 is actually already running. And Gypsy and oftentimes Nyokan, I've seen Seriosity out there casting as well. Shout out to those guys. Check out those games. Those are obviously the top, top quality games. I like Hasu League and Ghost League myself because I feel like you get a little bit more variety of build at this level. Bottom right hand corner. It almost feels like it's trying to think of the kickback era to a Korean pro gamer equivalent. Point being, I feel like these guys are talented enough and have enough micromanagement skills to do really interesting and fun things. But at the same time, it's not so skilled where it's like all of the build orders are dead just because they're, you know, pros and you can't really pull anything off of that level. Anyway, six of one, half dozen of another. ASL is also running, which I am way behind on actually. I need to go check those games out. 12 o'clock location, or one o'clock location approximately. We have Master Ray as the pink Protoss bottom right hand corner, green Protoss we have Dreamer. This is, I appreciate that color consistency. This is going to be on Gold Rush, which we haven't seen a lot of, mostly because it's the weirder map. This is the one where there's kind of that, the back edge. You can kind of go all the way around. There's another spawn over here, three player map. You can kind of go all the way around that back edge and there's the uh, assimilators that can be destroyed and also kind of walked across. It's very difficult to deny your opponent any sort of scouting information on this map. So I'm almost wondering if these players are aware of that and therefore will opt to skip observers. Because here's the thing, or if they're just gonna flounder a bit as far as their scouting information. Oil! Why do you need oil when, who need, like is it just a beverage for zealots at this stage? But yeah, this is the feature I'm talking about. You get the assimilator, you can kind of do the, the skip through um, and kind of press through and it becomes, and it's from both directions, so it becomes very difficult to deny information to your opponent. Although I guess you could if you just built in the middle of the map, I don't know. But even then, players of this caliber will see that there's pylons missing, things like that. Point being, cheese is a little harder to execute on this map, and also denying any level of scouting information is also difficult. I guess unless you mine out those minerals. But that that's also costly, because you're mining minerals at a distance, and that costs you a probe, and you might not want to for the opposite corner to get your own probe. Anyway, it's a weird map. It's actually out of all of the maps, I would say, in the BSL pool here, this is the weirdest one. Assimilator up for both players. They're going to go one gateway into Assimilator, so no two gateway opener. This is a map with a ramp at the very least uh, from both corners. Master Ray holding a probe here, I think, to see any probes engaging from the opposite corner. And this is kind of what we saw the last... I'm trying to remember who the last match we saw on Gold Rush was. This is kind of what we saw there as well, where players left probes just to kind of see if they're coming. But here's the thing. Even if you do keep a probe here to kind of scout things out, or see your opponent's incoming scout, they can still go the opposite direction <clears throat> if they're patient with it. More probes out, or sorry, this is a zealot running forward for Master Ray initially. Cybernetic score is going to warp in momentarily, and it looks like, ooh, nice kill. Who got the kill? That probe. Ha! <laughs> selected for the first time. Probe uh, getting a getting a little bit too greedy for Dreamer. I'm wondering if he's going to go for a mana pile, and it just didn't work out, and ends up losing his probe in the mineral line. Zealot walking right by, so just in case the probe's able to sneak through and getting that scouting information wasn't enough, Master Ray able to walk right into the main, the Zealot continuing to walk through and engage. Fortunately, taking on a Zealot and a probe gets one probe kill there, so Master Ray actually up two probe kills, and now he's just marching around, being a little bit annoying with his Zealot. Range, this is an end of game, but this is certainly going to set Dreamer back in the early portions of this series. Probes trying to turn around to a little bit of attack, disrupting the mining here. Two kills already for this out, plus all the disruption of these probes pulling back. The Dragoon finally gonna put an end to these shenanigans. I almost want to play Yakety Sax when a Dragoon gets into the, the mineral line like this. Anyway, second Dragoon being produced. Another probe making its way across for Master Ray to get that continued scouting information. It looks like he is setting up to go ahead and go one gate into expand himself. And are, is that what we're gonna see from Dreamer as well? Robotics facility, so one gate robo, comparatively. So now depending whether we see robotic support bay or an observatory, comparatively, and again, here's the thing, this is the map where I feel like that observatory can be skipped, right? Um, and I take it back. So I thought Master Ray, would, where he was going with those Dragoons, he was gonna set up going for one gate robo, or one gate nexus. Instead, he's getting his robotics facility as well. So mirror builds from both players. And as I say that, I see the second nexus, sorry, second nexus, wow, I can't talk all of a sudden. Second gateway, <clears throat> up for Dreamer and for Master Ray. So all the way around, looks like both players are just mirroring each other's build. And I think this one's gonna come down to pure execution. Just pure execution. 
as far as who wins this. Because again, this is a map where it's really, really, really hard to deny any sort of information. Yeah, I'm gonna own up to it. A little bit of Twitch chat making fun of me, but it's deserved in this instance, all of the tongue blather and the misreads on the situation. Gotta hold me accountable, guys. Observatory is going down for Master Ray. I almost feel like this is a waste, to be honest. Considering how easy it is to scout your opponent's base, we do see a robotic support bay and an observatory comparatively for Dreamer. Some additional pylons. This will give Master Ray... So basically the attack advantage is going to go a bit to Dreamer, where he's going to be able to produce those Reavers. However, the economic, a slight economic advantage... Basically, the cost of Robo support bay is going to go to Master Ray, where he might have some space to sneak a couple extra units, or maybe even an Nexus. And as I say that, the robotic support bay warping in on his corner. Observer first, so mirror builds across the board. Man, this is a bad cast for Diggity. This is not the one to put on YouTube, but it's going up there anyway, just so you guys know that I am a human being as well. And fallible. Observer making its way across, Reaver being produced. I'm wondering if both players are just unfamiliar with this map and that is what's going on and they're just a little bit nervous and trying to play like kind of the most concentrated, basic, safe PvP you possibly can. Dreamer thus far has opted to be the aggressor more often than not. And unfortunately, I feel like when he, when he has opted to be the aggressor, it has ended up costing him in these matches. Observer for Dreamer making its way across the map. Even that is a little bit of a, a risk because moving that Observer up if you get caught with Dragoons, yeah, can get picked off and that can be information disadvantage. Observer still, or sorry, a probe still there for scouting information from Master Ray, by the way. Master Ray now taking his Nexus. So we are seeing some a little bit of divergence right there. Let's see if Dreamer goes ahead and gets his Nexus. He's in position to go ahead and take his Nexus and he is, in fact, pressing forward to get aggressive with his units. I think this is mostly perhaps to get scouting information. But if he's not careful, he's going to end up losing some free Dragoons on that front. Dreamer's still continuing to produce units rather than canceling some units to go ahead and get that Nexus building. And this is going to put him a little bit behind. Yeah. A couple shots. Master Ray not pressing forward. Backing off instead. Reaver is there on that front gate. And now stepping into this while Dreamer's army not in position. The Reaver it's going to be Reavers versus Reavers in the corner, but I think Dreamer getting the better part of this attack in that left-hand corner. Nice splatter across that corner. Another good hit from Mastery, but he ended up losing his Reaver on the high ground. Some nice firing chance, but oh, Dreamer getting cleaned up. Yeah, there's GG. Ugh, that's unfortunate. So Mastery takes the match. And I think, was that three? I think that was three. Oof. Hasu League there for you. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to go ahead and I want to double check something. Oof. Actually, let's go ahead and rewind. We did that for the, the rest of the matches. We're going to do it here as well. I feel like that was a bit of an anti anticlimactic finisher. Hey, Navi. Out in chat. It's kind of the after chat, so I'm like, that's okay. This was really the critical moment. And actually, I feel like psychic now. I'm like, yeah, this is what has been happening to Dreamer a lot, where he just gets aggressive and ends up walking into Master Ray, and Master Ray ends up being prepared. Master Ray doing a nice spread here with the Dragoons, and just basically letting Dreamer walk into his superior attack force. I don't even know that Master Ray's microing any of this. But here's another critical moment. Yeah, you can just see these Dragoons kind of pressing out to the corner. These ones trying to make, and that was a huge Reaver shot that Master Ray landed on those groups of Reavers. Dreamer actually confirming in Twitch chat that he hadn't practiced uh, on this match before. So, and I think that was that's finals, yeah? So, congratulations to Master Ray. And I think we will see Dreamer... Okay, getting actually we're getting some background chat. I'm actually going to throw this. I'm wondering if this will show up on the video. Might not. Because we actually have Dreamer himself. It's kind of like the post-game interview. Bloop. So Ash Dreamer, you hadn't practiced on this map before, which, yeah, I think Gold Rush was the least popular map out of those. You wanted to play 12 Nexus, but ended up getting scouted. Yeah. Yeah, Master Ray and with his scouting, is he, he's solid. He's solid. It's tough. So anyway, congratulations to Master Ray overall. We are going to see Dreamer. Dreamer, the way this works, do you advance to uh, 
the next league up as well? Or is it just um, <laughs> the streaks trying to get the butts, butts, butts in at the end? Um, but I'm not sure how the uh, the advancement works. Actually, I think there's one more game here, right? Sylphid. So I'm calling it too early. I take it back. Off on my commentating all the way around. I'm going to stop it here as far as the YouTube recording. Thanks for listening.